in the previous video we have discussed about the trans himalayas now in this video we will be discussing the eastern hills or the purvanchal now previously we have learned that the entire himalayan region can be divided into three parts first one is the himalayan ranges second the trans himalayas and the third one is eastern hills or purvanchal so in the previous video we were done with trans himalayas now let us try to understand the eastern hills clear now let us just go through this uh, para once and then we'll try to understand the meaning of this after crossing the dihang gorge so dihang means brahmaputra the other name for brahmaputra river is dihang so after crossing the dihang gorge now what do you mean by gorge gorge is nothing but a very steep valley which is formed by a river so when we say dihang gorge that is nothing but a gorge or a very steep valley which was formed by river dihang or simply brahmaputra so after crossing the dihang gorge which is in assam the himalayas take a southward turn we call it as syntaxial bend and they form a series of low hills running in the shape of a crescent and all these hills together are called the eastern hills or purvanchal so the himalayas they cross the dihang gorge so just imagine this gap to be the dihang gorge after crossing the dihang gorge they take a southward bend so this southward bend is called syntaxial bend okay and then they form a chain of low hills so these low hills are purvanchal or eastern hills as simple as that so let me just repeat this one more time the himalayas after they cross the dihang gorge which is in assam they take a southward bend so this southward bend is called syntaxial bend clear they take a southward bend and they run southwards they form a chain of low hills which are nothing but the eastern hills or purvanchal clear right now let me just show you the map for the sake of clarity so the great himalayan range and this is the dihang gorge okay so now they have taken a southern bend here a southward bend so this is the syntaxial bend which i was talking about now here you have something called patnai boom patkai boom range and then you have the naga hill range and manipur hill range and mizo hill range and to the west you also have the hills of garo khasi and jaindia so all these belong to the eastern hills or purvanchal okay let us just go through the map one more time for the sake of clarity the great himalayas they have crossed the dihang gorge in assam formed by the river dihang or brahmaputra and now they have taken a syntaxial bend southwards and now they have formed a chain of low hills so you have patnai boom next you have naga hills and you have manipur hills mizo hills and in the west you have the hills of garo khasi and jaintia in the state of meghalaya so all these hills they belong to the eastern hills or purvanchal as simple as that now extending from arunachal pradesh in the north to mizoram in the south they form india's boundary with myanmar so now let us go back to map extending from arunachal pradesh in the north to mizoram in the south these hills they form a natural boundary between india and myanmar clear right now these hills are very different from himalayas in terms of scale what do you mean by scale in terms of size these hills are very different from that of himalayas these hills are a chain of low hills okay if you just look at those hills they don't resemble himalayas in any way so in terms of scale these are very different from himalayas but this point is very important they are formed from the same orogeny now what do you mean by the word orogeny in geology orogeny means mountain building event clear so what is the meaning of this now the collision between indian plate and the eurasian plate that event is the orogeny which led to the formation of himalayas now even though the eastern hills they look completely different from the himalayas they are formed from the same event that is the collision between indian plate and the eurasian plate so these hills are very different from the himalayas in terms of scale but they are formed from the same orogeny and what is that orogeny collision of indian plate and eurasian plate which led to the formation of the other himalayas clear so that is the reason we are including the eastern hills as part of the himalayan range now in the north is the patkai boom range which forms the international boundary between arunachal pradesh and myanmar so the hills of this range rise to an elevation between 2000 meter to 3000 meter after running some distance southwards patkai boom merges into naga hills okay which forms the international boundary between india and myanmar 
clear now to the south of naga hills we have the manipur hills whose elevation is less than 2500 meter and they form the international boundary between manipur and myanmar clear right so here naga hills form the international boundary between nagaland and myanmar to the south of that you have manipur hills whose elevation is less than 2500 meter so these hills form the international boundary between manipur and myanmar now on the west you have the hills of jaintia khasi and garo which are in meghalaya so this is an image of khasi hills it's very very beautiful right covered with thick forests now to the south of manipur hills you have the mizo hills so mizo hills are also called lushai hills whose elevation is less than 1500 meter now let us just go through this one more time for the sake of clarity in the north you have the patkai boom range okay so just imagine this as the patkai boom range now the patkai boom merges into the naga hills okay so this is patkai boom and this is naga hills now the continuation of naga hills is manipur hills and mizoram hills okay and to the west you have the hills of khasi garo and jaintia in meghalaya clear right now the patkai boom hills they form the international boundary between arunachal pradesh and myanmar the naga hills they form the international boundary between nagaland and myanmar next you have manipur hills and mizoram hills which perform the same function they are acting as the international boundary between manipur myanmar mizoram and myanmar and to the west you have the hills of khasi garo and jaintia in meghalaya so basically all these hills together are called the eastern hills or the purvanchal as simple as that now let us just go through the map one more time for the sake of clarity so this is the dihang gorge in assam and the himalayas have taken a southward bend we call them as the syntaxial bend so a bend like this is syntaxial bend so first you have the patkai boom range and patkai boom range eventually merges into the naga hills and to the south of naga hills you have the manipur hills and mizo hills and to the west you have the hills of garo khasi and jaintia clear right so guys i'm hoping that you got a clear picture now so as we have observed the elevation of the eastern hills decreases as we move from north to south okay so elevation of the hills decreases as we move from north to south now what is the elevation of the hills of patkai boom somewhere between 2000 meter to 3000 meter now what is the elevation of mizo hills it is less than 1500 meter so as we move from north to south the elevation of the hills decreases so this is one important point you need to keep in mind clear now although these hills are low they are very difficult to cross over because of the rough terrain and dense forests so with this we are done with the concept of the eastern hills or purvanchal so basically in eastern hills you have the ranges of patkai boom next you have naga range manipur range mizo range and to the west you have the hills of khasi garo jaintia in meghalaya so all these hills together are nothing but eastern hills so even though these hills are low and even though these hills do not resemble himalayas in any way they are the result of the same orogeny which is nothing but the collision of indian plate and eurasian plate so with this we are done with the concept of eastern hills so guys i hope you found this video useful and informative thank you so much for watching and i wish you all the best